to see a triple cork 14, he doesn't do it straight off a booter. He goes like 100 meter transfer, man, nuts. This is Sam Bob Gardner, and he throws the biggest slope style ski transfers known to mankind. Sam started skiing before he knew the alphabet. He was only two years old when he strapped on his first pair. Both of his parents were ski coaches, so they taught him all the basics. He went on to join the local Alpine team at his hometown in Austria, but eventually he wanted to learn how to cork. No, Who introduced you to freestyle? My hometown. I was like a boy that was always rollerblading at the skate park. And I saw him every time and I was like, dude, this guy, he's sick. I was ski racing and he was skiing and like the snow park was next to the race slope so I could watch him ski all day. I was like, this guy, he, he's next level. Somehow we got like super good friends and he brought me into free skiing and yeah, this is how it started. And it turned out freestyle skiing pumped Sam's adrenals in ways he never knew he needed. He would go on to land a spot on the Austrian free ski team, compete in the World Cup circuit and join some of the biggest invitationals in the culture like Rebel Play Streets. <laughs> While he did manage to place extremely well in a bunch of slope style and big air competitions, his body still wasn't getting enough air time. So we found a way to go bigger. Not only is he one of the only people who have actually landed this transfer, but he tossed a triple cork 1440 on it. To give you some context, that transfer is nearly the length of two full-grown sperm whales. He has to blast faster than Zeus's lightning bolt to clear that distance, all while dipping his dome three times while simultaneously completing four full rotations. Nuts. Disregarding the triple 14 for a second, has anyone else even just hit this transfer? Uh, on that day, for sure, it was just me. And I think I was the only one that has ever done this transfer on purpose. Like a good friend of mine, Ben Harrington, uh, he did like a couple of years ago, he wanted to go for the airbag and he missed it and fell to the side to the landing where I landed. Oh, so, you're kidding. Yeah. How does that even happen? I think he caught an edge on the takeoff and got carried over to the landing. So he's like the, the guy that owns the gap. So yeah, shout, shout out to Ben Herring. Now, is this the kind of thing that you speed check with a three or seven or do you just go straight to a 14? <laughs> I did like a straight air first, just to see how the angle works, how much speed I need. And then I did like two dub tens and then a couple of trip 14s. Oh, just a couple of dub tens, no big deal. <laughs> well, Sam's triple 14 in Cadrona takes the gold for sheer airtime. It blows my mind to say it doesn't even come close to what he pulled out in Dubai last year. Triple 14 from prime to pro line out in Stubai and then from pro to prime line he tosses a right side triple cork 1620. These are transfers that very few of the top athletes would even attempt to straight air, let alone connect them in a line, let alone triple them, let alone triple them in both directions. Needless to say, Sam is on a completely different level. Dialing in on that first transfer, the prime line to pro line trip 14, not the trick, but the, the transfer has been done before, yeah? Uh, not a classic transfer, but people do it every year. One or two guys do it, but like the second jump, the pro jump to the prime landing has never been done before. That time when I did it, like the jumps were in a pretty good distance and angles next to each other. So you could actually do it. And I was like, hmm, this could work. And then, yeah, on the first day, I just did a couple of dub tens on the first jump and focused more on the right side trip on the second one. And then I, on the next day, I linked them together, did like the left trip 14 to the right trip 16. You're nuts. <laughs> so crazy. Now you've done some of the most impressive transfers in ski history, but is there a transfer that's still left on your bucket list or do you have a dream transfer trick that you have yet to accomplish? <laughs> yeah, yes and yes, both of them. Like there's one trick that I would really like to do on a transfer and I found my dream transfer, but I don't want to claim it too early or don't call it too early. So probably just do it first and then claim it. Probably. So, but I feel like if I do like the, the transfer that I was talking about, then you guys will be really stoked. So yeah. Sam, you are an absolute legend. Thank you for skiing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sam's actually just getting back on his skis now after almost a year off. He ended up tearing his ACL in both meniscuses out in that same New Zealand trip where he tossed that triple 1440 transfer. So good to see him back in his element, healthy, shredding again. If you guys want to keep up to date with all the airtime he achieves throughout the season, go follow his Instagram. I'll leave it linked down below. Huge thanks to him for hopping on and having a chat. He is, uh, he's a different breed. It's so fun to watch him ski. <laughs>